Coming soon on video and DVD. Starring Dylan, down with the white man snack, and Trevor Robertson. In a world where whites reign over like an oppressive blizzard, comes a story about adversity. Fear. And movie Oh, this is a public movie theater. What are you? What are you doing? You you can't do that here. What are you doing? Good evening. My name is Marceau. I was in a relationship once, but she didn't understand me. She called me a monster because I didn't cry at my own mother's funeral. What does she know? I'm looking for a girl who will value my soul. And not my body. E-Harmony has changed my life. I went from shooting Arabs on the beach to falling in love. Join E-Harmony now. Welcome to Casa de Mosby. How's it going? Let's get some jazz playing. I got a story to tell you guys. It was about a party I went to the other day. This has to be the worst party I've ever been to. Probably the only party I've ever been to, actually. You see that handsome one on the left? That's me, Winston. Nobody understands me. I dance to the beat of my own drum. And that girl I'm talking to? That's Annabelle. She's got a sour disposition and an insatiable thirst for alcohol. Not much else you'd ever want to know about her, to be honest. And that fellow in the middle? His name's Irwin. He's been calling the shots since the day he stepped out of his mother's womb. Nothing bothered him more than free opinions, and I happen to have plenty of those. The girl next to him, in the dashing red, her name's Beatrice. A real catch, they say. Rich and clueless. The perfect woman. Lately, she's been trying to keep her fling with Mosby, the party's host, under wraps. However, that has not gone well for her. And finally, I'll talk about Frank. I'm surprised the man can even stand up straight, honestly. The man has no spine. With a group of characters like this, there's no wonder that something interesting is bound to happen. It's quite the party. Mosby sure pulled all the ropes for this one. It's certainly a drag about this weather, though. I wouldn't want Mosby's work to get ruined. I'm sure you'll appreciate all of Mosby's hard work. What? You could certainly make him feel better if that's the case. So much for this party, eh? Yeah, everyone go inside. Nothing ever goes as planned. This is quite the drag, isn't it? Almost like the World Series. I'm not gonna let this party die, Frank. Let's go get some drinks. Let's do it. I'm not sure alcohol can even save this party. I think I'll go see if Mosby needs help. Take Winston with you. You can't even pour your in drinks. How do you expect to pull in a canoe? I'm off to the bathroom. I prefer. 
prefer not to. I prefer not to. I prefer not to. I prefer not to. Mosby's quite a lucky guy. Beatrice? Yeah, I'd do anything for a girl like that. The girl? I was talking about the money. Oh yeah, that money could really help fill it out. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab a smoke. This is when things start to get interesting. Come quick, everyone! Quiet, everyone! What's going on here? Oh, it's awful, it's awful, the travesty. Spit it out, Beatrice. I can't, I can't. My beautiful eyes, I've never seen something like this. Get it out! Get back inside, everyone. Well, why should we listen to you? Who's to say you didn't do all of this? Well, who do you think we should listen to then? You? Enough of this tomfoolery. Let's get inside. So, I went to further inspect the body. For scientific reasons. Wake up! Mosby, poor Mosby. Who could have done such a thing? Did you see the wrench in his head? Where does one acquire a wrench? Somebody killed Mosby, but who? We would have heard a car pull up if it was someone else. But that means... The killer's one of us! We need to hear everyone's story up until the death. Well, you first then. Frank, I went to get the drinks, and suddenly, I had a hankering for a cigarette. I bummed off one off of Winston earlier. Strange fellow. So I left to enjoy some nicotine on the porch. Is that a sin, Annabelle? In fact, now I think about it, I was gone long enough that Frank easily could have grabbed the wrench, found Mosby, and ended it all right there. Excuse me, Irwin. Yes, we went to fetch the alcohol from the kitchen, but you just admitted it. You left to smoke a cigarette after you raved on and on about Mosby's wealth. Who's to say you didn't commit this crime out of jealousy? You could have easily abandoned your cigarette for a trip to the kitchen so you could grab the wrench, come out the back door, find Mosby helplessly tying in his canoe, and murder him for his wealth. Well, I was just in the kitchen fixing myself something to drink. I thought I'd try to liven the party up a bit. It was all harmless, really. I didn't see anyone grab the wrench. I mean, why would someone keep a wrench in a kitchen? You drunk! Like you're any better. You were the last one to see Mosby, you harlot. You know, Beatrice, I'd actually be impressed if you killed Mosby. I'm starting to see right through your helpless act. When I got outside, he was already dead. Well, you were drunk. You probably forgot grabbing the wrench, going outside, and murdering poor Mosby. Heaven knows you have the masculine features to pull it off, you brute. So what about me? I couldn't have possibly had any motive to kill Mosby. That leaves you, Winston. What were you doing? I'd prefer not to say. What do you mean you prefer not to say? What are you hiding? I prefer not to say. You're the shadiest one here. What are you doing, you bastard? What's this? It's Mosby's wallet! In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have taken his wallet. It's him, it's him, I know it's him. Don't jump to conclusions now. How's this for jumping to conclusions? Let the boys play.
sure that it was Winston. I saw him take the wallet from Mosby's dead body. Sure, he had his faults, but so do all of us. You're way too naive. You're way too controlling. And we all knew about your relationship with Mosey. None of us are better than the other. Don't listen to him, Frank. I'm proud of you. Besides, Winston was in the bathroom, and the only door leading from the bathroom to the kitchen was right beside me. I would have seen him if he took this wrench. Let's go back to where it all began. A piercing scream in the night. We all responded quickly. Well, some quicker than others. I was right by the door, so I came out first. Then Erwin after a cigarette, and Winston from the bathroom. Now why would Frank be last? Unless he was waiting for us to discover his handiwork. Well, the killer's still here. It wasn't him. Why were you so sure it was? Well, why are you so trigger-happy, Frank? Can we just work this out? Hey, stop trying to always play with the big boys. That's why you killed Mosby. Think about it. Why would Annabelle kill Mosby? So it would be easy to get the girl. I saw you earlier eyeing Beatrice. Beatrice not only has the looks, but the money. You knew about her relationship with Mosby, how close they were. Imagine, if he were out of the picture, she'd become mentally unstable, emotionally distraught, vulnerable if you will, and ripe for picking. Ain't that right, Annabelle? From the cold grasp of death to the warm touch of a woman, it was foolproof, or so you thought, because just like any woman, you can't fill the space of a man. Are you crazy? I have a husband. I'm sure it was Frank. Frank is as naive as he is alive. He killed Mosby and tried to cover it all up by going after Winston. D did you see how quick he was to jump to conclusions? It's obvious he was manipulated by you, Irwin, into thinking he'd kill Mosby for Beatrice and the money. Then all he had to do was put the blame on the black sheep, Winston, and kill them before Winston had any time to defend himself. No, that's not what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Well, if either of you didn't do it, and I didn't do it, let's think about this rashly. Go back to the beginning, everybody. Who was the one to discover Mosby's body? It was Beatrice, that skank. She was always around Mosby. Like we wouldn't know something was going on. Yeah, someone's been real quiet this whole time. Hey, she's getting away! Well, where do you think you're going, bitch? But what was her motive? It was those two the whole time. So who would have thought that Mosby was so disconnected from the world that he would invite two mob gangsters to his own house? They planned it from the beginning. It all started with blackmailing Beatrice into killing her lover. They told her that if she wanted to keep her father's illegal bootlegging alive, then she's going to have to sacrifice something that she loved. After that, it was easy. Frank played along and let Erwin manipulate him into killing me. Annabelle threw Frank under the bus a couple of times, so no one knew that they were actually on the same team. When Erwin finally accused Beatrice, they knew they had reached the home stretch. After that, it was just a two to one, and the job basically played itself out. Fun fact, Annabelle really is a lesbian. So the two got out with Mosby's death. I haven't gone to church in a while, but I remember the pastor saying something like, God works in mysterious ways. I love a happy ending. <laughs> uh. <coughs> 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 <coughs>